Hey guys, Kings of Vending here, and today is you know lockdown, and I'm trying to make the best of it and try to organize my stuff and uh, move my vending machine. I'm just gonna move it, probably like a little feet there to free up this space, and I'm gonna show you how the best tool to use, and um, hopefully it helps. So these are not the best tools. So if you're thinking about using any of these. Um, it's going to be a struggle. Maybe you can do it, but it's a struggle and I'm going to show you what I use. So the best way to move a vending machine is a pallet jack, but not just any pallet jack. I like to use this mini one. It's a strong way mini pallet jack. I got that from um, Northern, Northern Tools. Um, What's this called? I bought it for like, I don't know, $250. Well, it's, it's in the range of $199 to $250, depending on if they have any sales. Um, what killed you is the shipping. I think I paid about $160 on the shipping. And I'll show you guys the dimensions on this uh, jack. So the width of it, the width of it is about 15 inches. And the length looks like around 31 and a half. Yeah, so it's much smaller than the um, a regular pallet jack. So what I like about this pallet jack, like I said, is because it's mini, it's lightweight. And I do bring this around when I do have to do some services. Like I have to get access to the compressor, which is in the back sometimes. Um, or you need access to it in the back. So I'm going to show you how I... Uh, put it in my cargo van and uh yes uh cargo vans must have um it well when i go restock oh my god it gives me a lot of room i don't have to think about people stealing my stuff and to be honest it looks professional all right so here you go so what i do i've seen people do a running start they run and then they just lift it up and go over there um i haven't gotten the hang of it every time i run and do it it swivels so what i just do is i take the front and I will guide it in and I hold the handle and I just lift it up and then I just push it through. There you go. And to get it out, same thing. Take the handle, bring it out. And then from here, I'm going to drop it, and then I guide it. Alright, so we're going to clear this out, and uh, while I'm clearing it out, I was just looking at these two uh, machines right here. If you do your own vending machine repairs, uh, I'm talking about soda machines, these are a must-have. Because if you have a Freon leak and you're like complaining like, man, my, my machine's not getting cold, these are the machines you need. Um, to get once a recovery machine and once a vacuum pump and this is to take that freon out and then replace it with you know one r134a um yeah these are the good ones i might make another video on must have tools but yeah these are the ones i use for my repairs all right guys so it's very simple to use a pallet jack just make sure you're in the center of the machine or try to get as center as possible and then there's a tab right here you press it down that locks the um the jack so the, uh, you can pump it up and then you just start pumping when you're done pumping and you got it to the right uh, length you just pull that very easy it's very lightweight So now, once you have it in position and where you want it, you're just gonna straighten it out a little bit. You're gonna use this lever and you're gonna pull, uh, push it up and it's gonna go down. And there you go. So yeah, um, 
So this is it. It's finished. Uh, I strongly recommend this. I'll put a link in the bottom of where where to get it. I guess, again, it was the Northern Tools. A great investment. Uh, if you guys like this, uh, please subscribe. And I'll try to put out more videos of maybe I don't know tools that you need for the business or uh, must have. Like I said, to me, this is a must have if you're moving a lot of uh, machines.